um, I've been debating the existence of God. Like, I've just been kind of, you know, dotting around his own belief in God to mm -hmm. point out the, you know, the stupidity of belief in general. But he's a, he's a hardcore Catholic raised Jesuit educated guy. And uh, his father was a prominent surgeon. He used to reside over exorcism. So he's at the same time kind of weirdly mystical about the whole uh, possession thing. But yeah. He's a hard guy to convince, but nonetheless, nonetheless uh, his argument or belief that God exists is that without unconditional love, God would, there's, if, if I'm sorry, if unconditional love did not exist, then there would not be God. But since it does exist, that that is intimate proof that there is also a God or higher being. Are, are you sure that that's, Okay. So, so basically his argument is that if there was no God, there'd be no unconditional love. And since he sees that there is unconditional love, there must be a God. Correct. Okay. Uh, I, I don't agree. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, it's an obvious no agree. I mean, it presupposes culture well, or religion. I, I, I disagree with the, with the idea that there, well, I, I disagree with it on all grounds. First of all, I'm not convinced there is anything such as unconditional love. Um, right. I'm pretty much convinced that love is actually conditional. There are, there are some uh, people who love people so strongly and, and f throughout their entire life, uh, but I'd say that maybe those people haven't experienced the right conditions that would cause that love to not be love anymore. And I'd also say that people will continue to profess love um, even when their actions contradict that profession. Uh, you know, they may care about you strongly, they may be concerned about you, and they may be uh, love in some sense, uh, but I'm not, I'm not convinced that, that there is any such thing as unconditional love. And also, um, I don't see any necessary, necessary causal chain between the existence of unconditional love, if it does exist, and a God uh, at all. I mean, it, it, that, that's just, that's like saying if unconditional love exists, then, um, you know, unconditional pixie fairies, or, or pixie fairies, unconditional fairies, uh, or unconditional love fairies exist. Uh, necessarily, I mean, it's it's, it's mm -hmm. that that kind of silly. You, how are you defining God, and how are you getting from unconditional love to the existence? Of God? I don't I don't see it at all on any grounds. Well, yeah, I mean, he's he's got the triune and all that, and he just stands behind stand behind, stands right behind the Vatican on all these matters. It's uh, I don't know. This 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 coming from the same guy who's willing to you know disconnect from his children and entire sections of his family due to like how they happen to worship. Mm. So evidently his love's yeah. conditional. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Like, I, honestly, if he even knew I was having this conversation, he would disconnect from me. Oh. Well, and, uh, I can save him know. the hassle. I, I can I save him the trouble. I can, I can disconnect from you. So, oh, no, wait, the conversation's over. Dang. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs>